Dear friends, um, as I was preparing this uh, vlog to upload, I decided to show it to Raphael. I like him to see uh, things before I post. And he watched it and he said, well, don't post it, uh, because that's the most boring vlog ever. And uh, well, he thinks most vlogs are boring anyway, but this one beats the record. Um, and uh, he said that I clearly, you know, I'm very, I'm very tired in that blog, which I certainly am. Um, I have rainbows right now. <laughs> um, anyway, but, um, and that all I talk about is what I just, the project I just finished, um, which made me so tired, actually, because I was working for um, at least a week nonstop, uh, around the clock on it and uh, then about plans for the day so there is nothing else in this blog there is vlog there is no action <laughs> nothing so um so he thought i shouldn't post it um and then i gave it a thought and uh, i actually saw it um and uh, i kind of agree it's boring so um don't watch any for any further <laughs> um but at the same time I also, the, the whole reason why I decided to do this um, uh, YouTube series of vlogs of everyday life is because I'm shifting my concentration to everyday life of things I do every day and of things I also struggle with. And everyday matters, everyday life, not only to share the glory of concert stage, the glory of uh, uh, successes, premieres, publications, and so on. But actually, um, yes, I, I, I feel very tired in, uh, after that week, and it's okay to show it. It's okay to show the um, vulnerability and also um, some of the more struggling moments, perhaps. Um, not that this vlog particularly focuses on that, but I'm interested in um, actually capturing some of the real life not life made for youtube not uh life to make made to impress someone but actually some real stuff that goes on in my life and uh, um and that we as artists uh, tend to deal with uh, or have to deal with or choose to deal with um so i'm going to still um go ahead and post it uh you have been warned it's boring uh, but what I would love to hear from you actually if you like this type of format um, because I need to hear back from from uh, my subscribers from my viewers and to see if this is something that uh, you are interested uh, on this type of everyday video diary um, rather than uh, only um, more um, type of highlights or pre-scripted or um, structured um, more professional type of videos not that i'm going to <laughs> uh, in, uh, invest more time uh, or skills uh, which i don't have into the videos um, but uh, I'm curious if it is actually uh, worthwhile to continue in this uh, type of everyday um, um, video diary or if uh, what would be better is uh, much more scripted, prepared uh, and so on uh, type of videos, which I'm probably not going to bother doing. Um, but anyway, uh, in any case, I would love to hear from my viewers whether you find such vlogs as this one, uh, uh, if you find them inspiring in any way, or if you find them interesting, or if I'm just simply wasting my time, uh, which is a big possibility that I am. Um, so, yeah, please let me know. And here is the vlog. Dear friends, um, I did not record much last week because um, I had a urgent deadline and it was for um, a manuscript of my poetry uh, and uh, 
I spent uh, entire days uh, from morning to night and from night to morning just uh, editing and preparing um, the manuscript and usually I go into this complete absorption of a project such as such as a book or a composition and uh, it kind of throws all plans uh, all uh, um, balances off uh, because I go completely into into the work and I guess I get I can get somewhat um, obsessive about it um, so I would I would start and then I would kind of blink my eyes and it would be 10 hours later and I'm still working on it um, so I did not even though I wanted to do some of this uh, video diary uh, for you I didn't do it but uh, I didn't forget uh, about it and uh, um, I'm doing it now so uh, I had uh, somewhat uh, usually if, if, if I overwork I uh, eventually when I finish the work I get some kind of a reaction which is uh, I, I feel I feel tired and I feel uh, kind of low uh, and depressed even though I'm very happy I am very satisfied with the work itself uh, I may get really sort of feeling down and uh, in a dark cloud um, but I managed I managed to get out of it even though my my schedule is completely uh, shifted right now uh, which also happens quite often so I work through the night I go to sleep in the morning now um, and I get up in the afternoon so uh, my day today uh, is going to be focused um, I started actually making plans for the day which I haven't done much during the pandemic uh, I've been more going kind of with the flow whatever uh, I feel more like uh, doing at the, mo at the each moment um, but in order to get out of this funk I was the other day I decided to make a schedule uh, because when you're in a funk you just don't feel like doing anything I suppose um, so I made the schedule yesterday and I followed it um, not 100% but it still got me through the day uh, and I followed most of it and it was a good day and so I did the same for today and uh, today uh, my schedule looks like uh, most of the day I will be working on my new cello concerto uh, which I'm writing for Gautier Capuçon and uh, the deadline is coming in I think eight weeks mm, something like that uh, anyway so I have to give this work a priority over anything else uh, then I'm going to uh, practice piano and I'm going to uh, do a little bit of video editing for this vlog uh, not for this one but actually to go through the camera and see what's in there because if I let too much time pass uh, between when I uh, video and when I upload it I kind of lose track of what is there and then I have to watch everything all over again and uh, um, it drives me crazy so <laughs> So um, I, I want to catch catch up with um, um, this video diary project project. So, but the main concentration I want to make a real leap with the cello concerto, because even though I was working on it, um, it's kind of been slow process and a bit of a struggling process, and uh, uh, also I've been um, interrupted a number of times when I would switch to work on something else I will also today um, last night I just published a poem which I wrote um, last night uh, well yesterday and uh, I published it on the best American poetry vlog 
Uh, I have my personal uh, blog, Best, Ameri Best American Poetry blog, not vlog. So uh, um, anyway, so I have uh, my own blog uh, at that site. Uh, it's called Trouble Clef. Um, so and I try, I do try to publish something every week if I can there. Um, so it, uh, I just did it uh, last night, uh, meaning earlier this morning. And uh, what else? Uh, and uh, the other thing I will do today um, will be um, catching up with my diary. And by diary, I don't mean this video diary, I mean the regular diary, which I keep. Um, I actually keep it since age eight, pretty much throughout all my life with um, writing every day. And it's something that I just just do at the end of the day, and I do as much or as little as I feel. Um, I do it in both languages, depending on my mood. Uh, more often I write it in Russian than English, simply because um, I am surrounded by English-speaking people, and uh, I live right now in the United States, so it is uh, important for me, and each instrument is, each language is like an instrument. You have to keep practicing it daily in order for it to stay alive, especially for a writer. And I write in both languages, so um, so when uh, I'm away from the Russian environment, Russian language environment, I tend to write more in Russian uh, and uh, I tend to read more in Russian just to make sure that I keep my um, language as an instrument fully uh, at its at its best, <laughs> at my best. Um, uh, what else? Um, it's a very nice day. I woke up, as I mentioned, I woke up at around 3 in the afternoon today. And um, I'm pretty much starting right away, jumping into the day. I just had my morning shake. I drink a shake um, similar to a protein shake. It's a little bit different, but um, something like a protein shake um, in the morning. And uh, I do it instead of breakfast. Um, now I'm having my second cup of coffee. And I'm ready, I'm sucking myself <laughs> to to start the cello concerto. The One of the most difficult things is actually to open the score. Yeah, once you open the score and start working, then things get easier. But starting is always, <laughs> is always something that requires um, extra push. So I think there is always an element of resistance. Uh, even when you do the work that you love and you're passionate about and uh, um, you feel it's your calling, it's, there is always still uh, each piece, it's, uh, each work, uh, all, always there is an element of flow, an element of resistance, and it's a balance between the flow and the resistance and managing this balance um, and also getting tuned yourself and i find it also very much true uh, working with literature maybe even more so um, you need to be tuned as an instrument for the work uh, and tuning can consist of many different things for example um, reading poetry i try to start every morning i haven't done it today uh, maybe I will do it after this video. Um, I try to start by reading some poetry just because it really tunes your brain, it tunes your mind into a certain space, certain place um, where I want to be. Um, it can mean um, sight reading uh, music, it can mean uh, well, I suppose different things, whatever inspires you and whatever starts, um, starts you 
in the right direction, in the right frame of mind. Um, and it's especially important for any creative work, um, writing or composing, um, because there are certain elements, technical elements of work, which can be done without any tuning. Thank God, um, the, um, which are just uh, technical, necessary, very time consuming details of the work. Um, but then there is other side that also requires you to, to tune and uh, requires you to be inspired. Um, and in any case, inspiration always helps. <coughs> so, yeah, so this is my plan for the day. Um, I'm going to now uh, take Phoenix for a short outing and uh, then bring him to my studio. He's in the house now. And uh, I'm going to give my cat some food, which she likes. And she's giving me a very expressive look as I talk, uh, because she wants her food. And then I'm all ready to jump into the orchestral score of the new cello concerto. Until later.